The negation is because there is mistake. If there is no mistake, there will be no negation. And so, here is Aham Ragi Aham Dveshi I'm a liker, I'm a disliker. Who are you? Are you a liker or disliker? Nobody can say anything. You can't categorically say, I am the liker. Are you the liker? There are a lot of things that you don't like. In fact, you hate them. I hate it then there are a lot of things you like. And therefore, <clears throat> what do you like may not be liked by another person. That's why there is there is commerce. You want to sell your house very badly. And there is somebody who wants to buy the house badly. <laughs> Correct? So, what do you want to get rid of 
for a price. There is another person who wants to get hold of for a price. And somebody says, I got it for a song. And the fellow who sold, he says, I got a song after all. <laughs> you know, so you, there is a seller, there is a buyer. There is an in-between fellow. This is the, the most important fellow. He connects both. There is God. There is a devotee. There is an in-between fellow who connects both of them. Okay? <laughs> the devotee and God. So there is an in-between fellow. There is always in-between. God directly doesn't deal with people. He always comes through <clears throat> a pope. In between, he needs somebody. It looks like that. Anyway, these brokers are there. Somebody wants to sell the house, somebody wants to buy a house. These two fellows are at large. The one, the, especially the one who wants to buy the house is at large. You have to get that person to buy this house. So there is in between. Is a broker. Now, The broker, what is his interest? In selling the house or in buying the house? He is connected to both. He is interested in buying the house. This fellow buying the house. He is interested in this fellow selling the house. Really speaking, he is not interested in selling the house, in other fellow buying the house. He is interested in his commission. Okay? He, is he has got his own like. His raga is entirely different. So this raga is what you like. Everybody is a ragi. Everybody is a dveshi. Dvesha means what you don't like. Raga means what you like. Are you a ragi or dveshi? You can't say, you name the object. Then I will tell you whether I am ragi or dveshi. I am a ragi. I am a liker with reference to what I, what I like. <clears throat> with reference to what I don't like, I am a disliker. Therefore, who are you? I am neither liker nor disliker. Perfect. So our problem is we take a point of view as ourselves. One takes oneself to be the very, the very person with reference to <clears throat> a point of view, with reference to your like. You are a liker, nothing wrong. So, liker is Atma, is I. Disliker also is Atma. If both the opposites you are, 
liker you are disliker you are then it's very clear you are neither liker nor a disliker this is the truth the very fact that i am both the liker and the disliker reveals i am neither the liker nor the disliker liker from a point of view disliker from another point of view what is the view i want to know the view a point of view is only from a point of view you have to look at it look at yourself from something then you become something and from another standpoint you are different therefore you gain opposite status liker status disliker status from two standpoints and therefore i transcend both i am neither liker nor disliker liker i am please understand liker i am disliker i am indifferent i am there is in, be in between fellow also neither a liker nor a disliker there are lot of objects in the world to which neither you have a like for nor a dislike for lot of almost 99.99% of the world you come across falls in between neither like nor dislike those trees those mountains neither you have a great liking or great disliking or anything they are all there you don't even notice them you are so much concerned you don't notice so many stars in the sky you have no preference to this star and that star if you are an astrologer and you are able to find out this nakshatra this is my nakshatra then you have a dislike okay you have a dislike or a like so so this this stars constellations and all that there are so many things in the sky you don't care i am indifferent therefore who are you are you a liker or a disliker or indifferent neither i am indifferent if i am indifferent i should be indifferent all the time If I'm a liker, I should like everything, scorpion included. If I'm a disliker, I should dislike everything. It's not true. And therefore, Namé Ragadveshau. Neither raga or dvesha. raga is like nor dvesha is dislike name in me also mama me or mai me mai atmani in me there is neither raga or dvesha i am free from both 
or for me there is no raga or dvesha they don't constitute atma which is chidananda na me raga dvesha na me lobha moha then we have lobha moha mada matsarya kama krodah the ragadvesha will include kama krodha ragadvesha desire what i don't want also is a want i want i want this to happen i want this not to happen so both are desire kama this is a group let us understand first a group the group of six you know the group of six you all understand this very well a pack of six you know <laughs> ah here also a pack of six is a pack of six kama krodha lobha moha mada matsarya so group of six you take one six of them come together is a pack of six bad news so one is called kama desire the desire is two fold raga and dvesha what i want to happen is raga what i want not to happen is dvesha both are desires when the desires are there then anger will come anger will be there when there is obstruction to the fulfillment of desire desire turns into anger old desire turns into anger pain desire unfulfilled turns into pain pain manifests in the form of anger just two steps desire unfulfilled desire causing pain lodged in the unconscious manifesting in the form of anger so whenever there is anger you must know there is pain involved when there is pain there is unfulfilled desire involved and therefore kama is the mula for anger raga dvesha or mula mula means root cause for anger na me raga dveshau dvesha ragau dvesha and raga are not there in me then what do you have i don't have anything i am free from everything do you exist or not are you zero are you zero somebody said i am a zero ha huh? this uh, one, one buddhist philosophy is i am zero shunya someone will say 
Shunya means not zero. Absence of attributes. Then, what do you call it, Shunya? If that is so, why don't you say absence of freedom from attributes? Why don't you say that? In fact, they mean Shunya. I have checked up with the serious monks, not local fellows. <laughs> local Buddhists are all, you know, anything passes. No. Real serious people, they mean Shunya means Shunya. What is the enlightenment? To know the truth of yourself. What is the truth of yourself? I am zero. So what an enlightenment. I am zero. So, but first you have to say I am, then zero. Zero is a conclusion. I am is the truth, okay? <laughs> I am is the truth. That I am is Chidananda. Zero is your conclusion. Whether your conclusion or not, it is our conclusion. So zero is the conclusion, it is I am zero. I am is the truth. I am, I am. You know, in Greece they have, they have these monuments. They have these monuments, you know. Live cultures destroy, destroy the live cultures, preserve the monuments. These fellows are past masters in this. Live cultures and religions destroy them, convert them, change them, then preserve some of the monuments. And in Greece there is this big monument and what is written on the top is, I am, I am. <laughs> Correct? I am, I am, I am. What, what is the equivalent to that? Do you have that, any of you? I am, I am. Something equivalent to that. I am, I am. Yeah. That's, a, that's, that's an Indian stuff, really. <laughs> I am, I am. I am, I am means ahamasmi, ahamasmi. Don't conclude. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. That is the truth. Don't conclude. If you conclude, you commit a mistake. I am self-revealing, I am self-revealing consciousness, I am. That's what it is. How can you say I am? Unless the I is revealing itself. Am is is. I has to reveal itself. I is. I is means I has to reveal itself. To be existent, that I must be, therefore, in every revelation there is consciousness. Here, I is consciousness, revealing itself, and reveals everything else. So this consciousness is, I am, and that is what Chidananda. And therefore, I am not Shunya. Name Dvesha Ragav. No, no Kamaha, no desire. That means no anger also. Then the host, the, the you know, the whole, the whole host of Six qualities. Do you know what are they? First is Kama, second is Krodha, 
anger, anger goes with kama, ragadvesha. Ragadvesha includes anger also, because anger is only another form of kama, desire. Then, lobaha, greed. Greed. What is greed? What is ambition? A man is already owning a corporation. He wants to buy another corporation. Is he greedy or ambitious? Another person, let us say, this fellow has a begging bowl and he wants to have this begging bowl is made of is is a is a where is our uh, our uh, uh, Panditji, Mukherjee, here? Ah, vegetable. <laughs> is made of vegetable. One vegetable. You ask him, what is that vegetable? The night he will tell you, what is vegetable? Vegetable. Is a gourd. Made <laughs> Made of gold. This time he gave something very interesting. It's more, more inspiring. He attended a concert, a Russian concert. You should listen. <laughs> you should really, we should listen to him the night, you know, tonight. It should be very nice. I will, I will come there. Deal, deal. So, you, you should listen to it. That's, it's just so inspiring, that Russian concert. <laughs> anyway, vegetable. This vegetable also we will listen to him. This vegetable. This fellow has got a begging bowl, and it is made of this gold and he wants to have a steel one okay <laughs> made of steel is it greed or ambition <laughs> this corporate head wants to have another corporation and this begging person wants to have a better begging bowl Ambition or greed? Ambition, okay? <laughs> Ambition. Then what is greed? Greed is, in order to get that corporation, he goes against the very value structure he values. In terms of others' behavior towards him, he values. Nobody should cheat him, nobody should rob him, everybody should be compassionate, considerate, giving. This is what he values. And he goes against that value structure, dharma. And therefore, what is that ambition or greed? That is called greed. And therefore, in order to fulfill your ambition, when you go against dharma, it is greed. The pressure of greed. You come under the pressure of greed. Lobha. Desire is there. <laughs> 
then the desire released kama krododbhavam vegam that vega the pressure will be there therefore greed ambition turns into greed nobody can similarly the other fellow begging bowl fellow he has got an ambition to have a steel begging bowl and when he wants to have a steel begging bowl he steals <laughs> another begging person both of them were sleeping in a in train station platform these are the places where they generally sleep and then the other fellow had a steel begging bowl he wakes up to find the begging bowl missing and this person also is missing <laughs> he picks up and then goes away you know greed ambition turns into greed we must understand these things not easy things to understand what is the border line what is the line that draws that converts an ambition into greed a desire into greed transgression of dharma due to pressure pressure of desire that that pressure that makes you pressure of desire that makes you transgress dharma is considered lobha greed due to what moha <laughs> due to misguided A misguided importance false priorities moha is false priorities priority confusion moha delusion priority confusion moha then madaha mada is also egoity yeah do you know what yeah they call it superiority complex there is no such thing as superiority complex there is only one complex that is inferiority it comes out in the form of superiority that means inferiority is so much <laughs> you 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 have you have the need to assume an air put on it air air of superiority underneath is all inside marsupa you know what what do you call marsupa marsupa german with swiss swiss chocolate marsupa ah inside inside is all gooey stuff there is nothing inside aha it's all confusion because everything is given if the villa has got a body then father mother have to be thanked for that even they cannot be thanked because it's all given and therefore so this this uh is everything is given body is given mind is given senses are given the contemporary society is given everything is given all powers are given what is there for anybody to be proud about height of ignorance arrogance mada is arrogance 
that arrogance is nothing but ignorance. Both the words end with A and C. <laughs> arrogance is nothing but ignorance. There is nothing to be arrogant about. It's all ignorance. Mada. Mado naiva ne me naiva matsarya bhavaha. Naiva. Indeed, the mada is not there. Naiva matsarya bhavaha. Indeed, there is no matsarya bhava. Matsarya is jealousy. What is matsarya? Somebody is accomplishing something. Then I become unhappy. <laughs> Somebody you think is happy may not be happy at all. <laughs> Somebody has something, you become unhappy. It's very very interesting emotion. They say this emotion has no cure. Jealousy has no cure. Because you have to you have to nip it in its bud. You shouldn't let let that emotion raise its head in your head. It shouldn't let it happen. As it happens, you have to neutralize it. And pray for that person who has the quality. Pray for him. May, 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 may that person have more of this. <laughs> Suppose somebody is able to you earn more, you become jealous, pray for that person to earn much more. <laughs> Somebody is able to sing, you are able, you become jealous, you pray for that person to sing much more. More with, with more depth and more clarity of notes. Pray for that person. Convert it into a prayer. Jealousy won't appear. <laughs> Jealousy is the worst thing to happen to anybody. <laughs> and really speaking, it will be very revealing. If you go and tell that fellow you are jealous, that fellow says, I thought I was jealous of you. <laughs> More often than not, the person doesn't think. And you, even if he thinks, if that fellow is conscious, or somebody is very proud. There's another problem, mada, arrogance due to ignorance. And so, you have to pray for the person. To have the particular quality to be in in abundance, in abundance. Pray. You understand now? 
काम क्रोध लोभ मोह मद मात्सरिया पैक ऑफ सिक्स बैड न्यूज देर कॉल शड रिपु सिक्स एनिमीज in yoga sutra also you have this six enemies i need not deal with them because i don't have them <laughs> see the beauty <laughs> see the difference between vedanta and the other we have to in the relatively we try to fix up all this that is sadhana relative then then only you can own i am chidananda you can't bypass wherever the growth is required you have to accomplish that growth relatively you are free from this six fold the six fold enemies you conquer them to some extent that's enough that will pave the way for owning this knowledge chidananda rupa shivogam shivogam न मे राग द्वेश न मे द्वेश राग न मे लोभ मोह मदो नैव मे नैव मात्सर्य भाव न मे मात्सर्य भाव देन देर आर फोर पुरुषार्थस पुरुषा मीन्स अ पर्सन सो सर्व पुष अर्थ्यते पुषार्थ एव्री पर्सन वॉन्ट्स टू अकॉम्प्लिश दिस दिस इज सॉट आफ्टर बै एव्री पर्सन एंड दट इज कॉल्ड पुषार्थ a self conscious being self judging being in other words a human being normal human being suppose mentally challenged etc that person may not have purushartha sat but normal human being who is a normal human being <laughs> normal human being is complaining fellow struggling all the time struggling who is given to moods that guy that person male or female that person is called purusha by that person arthyate iti purushartha this purusharthas are four generally we count 1 2 3 4 start with artha then kama and then dharma then we put generally dharma first dharma artha kama the three famous three arthakama these are the two 
then what you should have dharma dharmartha kamaha finally what one should aspire for moksha dharmartha kama moksha So in this dharmartha kava moksha, artha kama are the basic pursuits. Artha te yiti artha security, money, real estate. name power so all this that will give you a set of security a sense of security anything that will give you a sense of security retirement plan sense of security Artha. Then, karma. Anything that gives you a self-image, ego satisfaction. There is also karma. The corporate head. Wants to buy another corporation. It's not for money anymore. Ego satisfaction, ego trip. Nothing wrong. Ego satisfaction, big thing it is. That is karma. Looks like the pursuit of artha, but really speaking, it is karma. Ego satisfaction. Sometimes artha itself is ego satisfaction. In both, it is sometimes it is both. But we should know what is artha, what is karma. Any pleasure, any search for pleasure, is called karma. Artha and karma. So we seek security. We seek pleasure, artha kama. In seeking security and pleasure, you conform to dharma. Therefore, we separately have a value, an end to be accomplished, dharma. In no culture, you have dharma as an end to be accomplished. One should be able to follow dharma without batting eyelids. No murmur. Dharma for dharma's sake. No complaint. No conflict. In the beginning. With conflict, you follow dharma. And before that, <laughs> no matter what, I want artha kama. They say, by hook or crook. <laughs> artha kama, I want it, therefore I will have it. No matter what, <laughs> you bulldoze your way. Use your muscle power. So that is artha kama, no dharma. Then a person is more mature. When that person 
with conflict but follow dharma means so the 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 tendency is to compromise with dharma but the tendency is curbed with with conflict one conforms to dharma the growth lies mere conformity is not enough the growth is the conformity to dharma doesn't imply any dash of conflict means you become incapable of going against the dharma that's called dharma in ramayana we read dasharatha gave a king he gave to his wife kaikeyi a blank check told her blank check means there is nothing no slip or anything no paper he told her i grant you a boon you can in cash this any time you want two boons you can in cash this boons he told so this is pure trust that kk his wife from from kk desha caucus is from somewhere near turkey and other areas <laughs> problem started then it's a <laughs> so this woman she was very fond of gave her this boons and she in cash that her son his son that is through another wife that is kausalya the queen her son rama was to be enthroned anointed to be the crown prince date was fixed and kaikeyi asked dasharatha her son dasharatha's son but through her bharata should be made younger brother to rama should be made the crown prince <laughs> that is okay and rama should be banished to the forest for 18 years why dasharatha's weakness is rama <laughs> rama should go to the forest and my son bharata should be the crown prince she didn't even consult bharata what i say all that is required on the part of dasharatha was if he didn't want to fulfill that boon whatever she was wanted he had to simply say what boon who gave 
That's all what he has to say. Boon? Did I ever give you boon? Yeah, you gave me boon. When? You gave me for some five years ago. Come on. Don't dream, KKE. What? Are you dreaming? Go to caucus. That's what he should have told. But he was incapable. What I say, he was incapable. He went, implored, cried, fell at his at her feet. Ask anything, KKE, something else. Not this one. I gave you a blank check. Not to destroy me. You are destroying me. She only wanted this. And when Rama comes to know, Rama fulfills the Sarata's promise to KK. Rama fulfills. Dasharatha was incapable of going against his words. Incapable. That is what dharma is. Was incapable. Therefore, dharma rules first, artha kama later. Dharma artha kama. And one grows into that into that person, then there is what we call moksha. Moksha is chidananda rupa shivoham shivoham. You say and you mean it, okay? That is called moksha. <coughs> so we'll back, come back and see what it is all about. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Arihi Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Arihi Om